How's it going, everyone? Andy Sean 45 coming at you from a new place, as you guys can tell. I finally got the situation with my microphone taken care of, and I will be able to finally get out of the car and get back to doing videos here indoors. And I'm especially excited about that because here in my neck of the woods, it's getting to be single-digit temperatures. So yeah, very excited to, to get back indoors, to say the least. Granted, the car had heat, but still. Indoors, outdoors, where would you rather film in that kind of temperature? I mean, seriously, it's a no-brainer. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like the, uh, little, the little setup I have going on here. And Big Vol Daddy, as you can tell, you're well represented, my friend. I still have that award from the NCAA tournament pool you had all those years ago. Um, so I hope you appreciate that, dude. But yeah, guys, this is the, uh, the new place that I moved to. And uh, it's, I, fi I, I finally had things set up and I can get back to business as usual. So let's get right to it. Now this week, the Irish will be taking on the midshipmen of the U.S. Naval Academy. And I've told you guys many times in the past, this game has always been the simplest one for me to preview. Mainly because we all know what Navy brings to the table and it's pretty simple. Now, I'm going to forego the history. We all know that. The rivalry that goes back 80 plus years um, but it's very simple triple option offense and Navy having a special package that they that they set aside just for Notre Dame yeah you know, so the key to coaching for this game is very simple watch the film and know to expect something different for us and it could be a number of things could be a blocking scheme could be a special offensive package who knows all I know is that Navy's going to do something different against us that they, that they don't do against anybody else on their schedule. Um, but, yeah, with the triple option, definitely a lot of running, that's for sure. Uh, this team averages 360 yards uh, on the ground a game for a reason. Need I say more? Um, but they are known to, to pass the ball from time to time. But another thing you can definitely expect is a lot of trick plays out of this team. I mean... You know, obviously this isn't a conference game for Navy, so they're going to let everything out on the table, throw everything they can at us. Um, now on the year, Navy is seven and one, um, and I, and they they actually this week they just cracked the top twenty five. I think at twenty one, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, this is the first time that the Irish and the Midshipmen have met up, uh, both ranked. Um, it's been quite a while. I mean, honestly, I don't remember the last. I can't remember the uh, Notre Dame and Navy ever being ranked, uh, as far as I can remember, anyway, in my lifetime. Um, but uh, so that just makes this game even more important, especially with uh, you know with the Irish needing uh, to get a nice win over a ranked opponent and move up in the polls and still hopefully have a shot at an, at an NY6 bowl. But uh, Navy, when you look at their schedule. The only loss was to Memphis, and other than that, they have just been kicking the crap out of their opponents. I mean, by a wide margin. I think the, the average margin of victory was like 35 points. Now, granted, you could make the argument that, okay, they play in, in the American Athletic Conference, and that's not the greatest conference in the world. It's true. But still, you got to give credit where credit is due. They're putting their opponents away, and... That I don't care what anybody says, that's impressive. Especially on an average of like 35 points a game. Yeah, um, I would definitely say that's very impressive. So, still, not a team that you can take lightly. Um, and obviously you can't take this team lightly with the way they played us in, you know, in recent history. Um, now the most frustrating thing about Navy is, like most option teams, it's... Uh, a lot of long drives. Um, when they, when they, uh, I think I would say a very a successful drive of theirs because this is what they this is what primarily what they do. Every single play, they wait till there's like two seconds left on the play clock. They run the play, get three or four yards, get up, do it again. So, a a pretty good drive from them is nine or ten minutes off the clock with either a touchdown, field goal, whatever. Um. So that's where uh, you, you can really get in trouble when you uh, go up against an offense like that. So the main thing is, is is our defense really needing to step up and shut these guys down as quick as possible. Um, 
you know, we can't let these uh, nine, ten minute drives happen or else we will be in trouble. And uh, I'll tell you guys one thing. This is where losing uh, Julian Aquora really hurts. Um, you know, of course, uh, Julian out for the year with, uh, I think it was a broken fibula, I think. So it's going to be up to Jameer Jones in particular to really step up and carry the load that, uh, that Julian Aquara left for us. But I'm confident in uh, this defense being able to get the job done. But, um, yeah, so the way I see this game going down, we had a nice rebound offensively against Duke. Overall team performance in, in general. But the offense is really going to need to step up and score every time we have the ball. I know, sim it sounds so simple, right? But we're going to have to because, honestly, with um, – the little bit of shuffling that's gone down on the defensive front, especially with the injury of Julian Aquara, I could see uh, Navy having a couple of those nine, ten-minute drives on Saturday. I think there's going to be a little period of adjustment in there, so it might take us a little, a little bit to get things going on trying to stop this Navy triple option attack. But still, though, I like our chances at winning this game. I think uh, Ian Book and that offense kind of found a groove last week against Duke, and I think they can pick it up and uh, continue from where they left off. So, with that said, um, I think this is going to be a relatively low-scoring game just because of the fact I think that, um, well, I shouldn't say it's a fact just yet, but I think, like I said, I think Navy will get a couple of uh, long-scoring drives, and I think that's going to make this game look a lot closer. So, my final score prediction, uh, Notre Dame 28, Navy 14. Um, again, you know, those, uh, Navy gets, I think Navy does get a couple of touchdowns on long scoring drives, and um, I think with our, with the drives that Notre Dame gets in this game, they might take their time a little bit. So, so yeah, 28 to 14, Notre Dame, I could, e I really could easily see this game going down like I mean, we've seen several games like this in the last 10 years or so that have gone exactly like that. Uh, so so I could see this game being a, another one like that. And also Navy being 7-1 and one and ranked number 21, trying to play for you know a major, bowl, a major bowl bid themselves to try to be that best group of five team. You know, there's a lot on the line for them as well. So, um, so yeah, a lot riding for both teams here. Both uh, shot at a major bowl game and want, just wanting to climb those rankings. So, that said, guys, that's really all I have for you. 28-14 Notre Dame, my final score prediction for this one. And on that note, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off from the new, uh, the new spot and the new setup. And with that, God bless and go Irish, beat midshipmen.